everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to a new filming spot i am loving it but i want to hear from you guys do you like it should i go back to what i was doing before I did a little room decor so you guys will see that on the vlog that will come out on sunday but today i am going to be showing you an updated ring collection so i have my rings here i took out the drawer from my jewelry organizer right now i basically only have like one drawer of rings but they're all very special to me and i am going to walk you through them so when i was young i always like went into my mom's jewelry drawer and just like snuck in there and like looked at stuff and saw like what i could like potentially ask her if i could take <laughs> without her getting mad um so that was like one of my things that i always did when i was younger so i've always had like an affinity slash huge love for jewelry um and my mom does too and that's probably where i get it from we're gonna start off with the rings i wear all the time so of course we're gonna talk about my engagement ring and my wedding band and my sister ring and the just like vintage one that i wear all the time so first off we have my engagement ring and my wedding band the engagement ring is designed by my husband and nicola so i don't have too much to say about that one they're both set in 18k gold yellow gold and the wedding band I designed with Nicola because oh this is so hard to focus because um, my mom gave me a bunch of diamonds from like her old earrings and other rings so I took those and designed this variable size diamond band I wanted to make sure that it was like covered around the edges so that if ever like I got tired of my engagement ring because sometimes the prongs do get caught on things then I have this guy which is super easy to wear so these are two rings that I also always have on my right hand this one is a sister ring that I got made for my sister and I I made it for her when I asked her to be my maid of honor she has it in white gold because she prefers white gold diamond is also from my mom and then this is a vintage band I got from St. Eloy I just wanted a stacking one to go with this one just to make it a little bit taller so that it always looks a little bit cooler that way I think all right so those are my rings that I wear all the time. Um, I really only take these ones off if I'm doing something like super um, physical and like holding things. I don't want to ruin them. My engagement ring and my wedding band are basically always on me. So we're going to start off with like the oldest pieces or at least what I remember to be my oldest pieces. I believe this one's my oldest one. I got this on like a Europe trip that I went with my music trip or high school string band to Europe to play at a couple places. Brand is Frey Wille, or however you say it. I don't think I've ever seen it again. So it's got this really, really pretty print on it. It's like turquoise. Yeah, I was really into turquoise back then. And of course there's gold inlaid around it. I haven't worn it as much just because I worry that um, if I wear it too much, the pattern is going to get scratched because it is like enamel, I think. Next up is a Tiffany & Co. ring. I feel like this is probably one of the more popular ones if you think of a Tiffany & Co. ring at an entry-level ring, I mean. This is one of the more popular ones. Definitely not the most comfortable. You can see how it sticks out from the sides quite a bit, but it's a pretty substantial ring and I like rings are a little bit thicker and then we have this guy it is my high school like grad ring so i got it as a pinky ring because i wanted a pinky ring for all of high school but my pinky is like a size three and most of the like jewelry places that i knew didn't make affordable pinky rings so when it came time to getting one of these i was like yeah let's make it for my pinky so that i have a pinky ring i do really like it still now it's like an awesome signet ring this was my first solid yellow gold ring so this was like the beginning of my obsession i guess and then this was my first vintage ring that i got from saint eloy it's like a gypsy design around the diamond basically they make it let's see if i can show you they make the diamond look bigger by putting this like star design around it but it's, this one's like a very very tiny tiny guy but it looks a little bit bigger because of the design around it and i just love this kind of setting i think it looks really cool so you can see this ring is concave in size so it makes the weight of the gold a lot lighter and therefore this ring was a lot more affordable than some of the other vintage rings that i eventually acquired but this was like my first foray into vintage rings and it's super comfortable to wear because it is lighter it's tapered around the side so it doesn't stick out like you saw the tiffany's one so when even I have my fingers together, they don't really like knock each other out. And like, I feel like I can close my hands really comfortably. This one is from St. Eloy. It's opal and diamond. You can see like 
the opals are really colorful and I think really like beautiful together. Some opals are a little bit more like harsh in color. So I'm really, really happy that I added this guy to my collection. It's also a very comfortable ring as well. It doesn't protrude away from my finger a lot, so very easy to wear. You can see this one isn't concave in size, so it is heavier in weight for the gold. That plus the extra diamonds plus the opals, this one definitely is a pricier piece, which is why it took me a couple of years to get something like this. Then we have this guy. I had been wanting something with turquoise in it for so long and Carly from St. Eloy was at a jewelry show and she saw this and I was like, you have to bring this back for me, please. And she did and now it's in my collection and I love it so much. Again, very similar style to the others with slight variations and different stone, but you can tell I really like this kind of design for vintage rings. So then I have this guy. It's a vintage pinky ring, hexagonal geometric shape around the diamond, which I think looks really cool and a little bit more masculine. Got this to start a pinky stock so I'm working on a pinky stock right now which basically means I want like a diamond band for my pinky and then some like thinner gold bands and then I'm working my way there I don't have anything really to add to this yet so this guy is also from St. Eloy I got it as a pinky ring and it fit me when I tried it on but now it's too loose so when all this is over I think I'm gonna get it resized so it's four garnets on 14k gold I believe so I think I'm just gonna size it down just a tad so it fit because right now it's too small to fit over my fourth finger knuckle. I think it's pretty gothic looking so I think it's pretty cool. Here is another vintage ring. This one is from Folklore though. Folklore is a newer vintage jewelry brand and she has some really really cute stuff. So I always loved cameos but I hadn't found one that like I completely love. Some of them are too big, some of them are too like out there but I liked the design like of the gold setting and then the inside cameo is actually like a really neutral color and very like kind of just like a profile of a face versus some of them are really like detailed and sometimes it like creeps me out but <laughs> I really liked this one and it has a really great setting on it. So I'm really happy with it. Originally, I thought, <laughs> again, I wanted it like for a pinky ring, but I see now that I might have too many pinky rings, so I might keep it like this. I think it looks pretty cool next to these rings. All right, so next up is actually like a custom ring. Token Gold made it for me, and it is beautiful. I've been wanting like kind of like a cigar ring. This is a little bit less intense than a cigar ring because it's smaller, but it's made with some, I believe they're called salt and pepper diamonds. And then she put some little like textures around it to make it look like each of the stones are stars. So I usually wear it on this finger and I love layering the other token gold ring I have with it, which is this one. You would have seen this moonstone ring in my previous ring video. I just think that these two look great together and like it kind of fills up the knuckle to knuckle space here on my finger. And then we have this beautiful stone ring from Kate Danielle Jewelry. She's the one who makes this pearl bracelet that you guys usually ask about. But she also makes these gorgeous rings. So this one is like another special ring that I don't wear all the time. I want to risk <laughs> ruining it. And it looks a little bit more delicate. I usually wear this like on special occasions like Christmas because it's kind of greeny. This is from Zoe Chico. It was from one of her flash sales. I picked it up because I wanted another like pinky layering ring. So this is... A love ring, how cute. So I also have this Majuri croissant, croissant dome ring for the pinky and it's just really cute and chubby. I don't usually layer it with anything else because it's quite like a statement. I think if you want just like a starter pinky ring, this one's great. It isn't solid gold, so the price point is lower and much more affordable for anyone starting a jewelry collection. And then this little bean is the Jenny Bird D ring. I love this guy. I think he's so cute. Again, this isn't solid gold, so it's it's more of like an affordable price point. And you know how much I love Jenny Bird. I work with them a lot and they just make some of my favorite pieces. And then this guy is also from Jenny Bird. I tend to wear like these statement ones when I'm filming videos because I talk a lot with my hands. And so like I want it to be more visually appealing so you guys can see like jewelry while I talk versus just like my hands moving. It's super comfortable too. Like it looks like it'd be heavy, but because it's concave inside, they don't have to put as much like material on it. So it's just very, very comfortable. Again, it isn't solid gold and that helps with the weight, but also with the price point too. And then for a little while there, I was obsessed with like thin layering rings. So these are all from Majuri. They probably still make them or at least most of them. They're all real gold so you can wash your hands, shower with them and not to worry. But just to keep in mind, they are quite thin. 
So like don't do anything like super physical with them because they could break. So that's one thing I would keep in mind, but they are very, very cute. And I think they look great together like this. And especially for those of you who like daintier jewelry, Majuri is a great place to look for those. So there's also this guy from Ana Luisa. It's like a dome ring. It is hollow inside or like concave inside. So it's super light and super easy to wear. It's another statement ring that I love to wear in videos. So you probably have seen it a lot. Ana Luisa is another brand that I find has really good quality, affordable rings and jewelry in general and I also have a promo code that I think should still work so I'll leave it in this video as well all right so those are my like most worn rings I have a couple more that I might have forgotten about but that's because I don't wear them all the time if I don't wear them all the time doesn't mean like I don't love them it's just at this current time I'm just not wearing them as often go through phases like I do with my clothes with my jewelry too so I'm just gonna like stack a couple on and show you like what my favorite stacks are all right, so this is one of the stacks. I went with more of like a pastel-y light colored combo here. So we have the nude from the Folklore Cameo Ring and then a little bit of like a light blue in the opals. And then I also added the Love uh, pinky ring here. Try to keep it asymmetrical. So if I have rings on two fingers on my left hand, I like to put like it on three fingers on my right hand. And I also try not to have like the same fingers with rings on each hand. I feel like it looks more interesting because if you have it on the exact same hand, like fingers on each hand, then it's too symmetrical for me. So that's why my like everyday rings are on like my fourth finger and my third finger. And then I add to those. So on this hand, I added the token gold stack here. I really like like a statement stack, but if I do that, then I usually keep the rest of the fingers pretty minimal. So sometimes I'll add like this little pinky guy, the St. Eloy Vintage Diamond Pinky Ring here. So it just like looks like that. Or you can just take it off and these, this is just the hand of the day. So very simple, but this hand having like a really tall stock, I think makes a nice little statement without having to pull out one of my bigger rings. So this is probably the last stock I'm gonna show you. This is kind of like a bluier stack. So I have two vintage rings on the right hand, both like similar style, but because this is three stone, this is a one stone, it doesn't look too symmetrical. I think they look great together. And then you have like this stack in between breaking them up. I don't usually like having like one, one, one. I like to have different levels so that it looks a little bit more interesting and there's more depth to it. And then on this hand, I put the moonstone from Token Gold above the cigar ring from Token Gold as well, just because they're made by the same person. So they obviously have a similar aesthetic and vibe. And so they look great stacked together. And yeah, this is another, ring stack that I like to play with. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoy taking a peek into my ring collection and seeing how I, like the thought process that goes through my mind when I style them. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be leaving some links to the brands that I get my rings from because I've been collecting them over the years. A lot of them probably aren't available and because a lot of them are vintage, it's hard to find the exact same item. But if you ask like the people who own the businesses, like if you want a piece like this, they can keep an eye out. And that's usually how it works like with vintage jewelry. Anyways, I will link as many of them as possible. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you so soon.